at the end of the day. How are you actually doing? It's been up and down for years, this is the first time in my life where I feel like I have control, like I have direction, I for once don't feel like work is everything in my life, I have energy to pursue hobbies, I have a job that lets me feel good knowing I have done good, I have bad days still, but it's not a sinking ship, I have hope for the first time in a long time, that alone makes the bad days less bad. Every day is a constant struggle to find a reason to continue. I'm an indentured servant to my government based on a false promise, the food I can afford is slowly killing me and changing my brain chemicals and making me fat. My only reprieve is drugs and alcohol, which cause my life to be harder when the effects wear off. I've started to choose a six-pack for dinner sometimes to have a few hours to forget. I have experience in government, military management, trades, logistics and volunteer religious activities. I have a degree from a top 100 school in the school in the nation. What has this gotten me? It granted me 30k a year job in the state, where I'm taxed below the poverty line and then have to pay bills after they took 400 fuck taxes and 200 for insurance which leaves me with just enough that I can pay on my car and student loans. After bills are satisfied I have 185 US dollars left to buy groceries. Everyone is hiring but for less money or is a complete scam. The economy for labor and food and resources in general is shit. My government and half my country thinks my autonomy, liberty, and pursuit of happiness isn't a right. My constitution is a joke to my government. My current state job came with the promise of student loan forgiveness that I can't take advantage of until I make 120 payments. 5 years, my apartment keeps losing hot water. After 1.5 octoseconds my building is full of roaches and other bugs that bite my in my sleep. The excuse I'm given is that my building is near the woods so I can deal with it. They have in service that sprays once a week but they won't come in to spray because I have a dog. Gas is $3 a gallon. My grocery bill keeps going up. The holidays are in one month and I don't know how I'm going to make it through. Every day is a struggle to keep to going, to not go crazy. People are not cattle, we not machines. We are not made to follow orders and be cold to each other. We are to live freely and love each other and be free from constant taxation and surveillance. Did you know Facebook knows when you go to the bathroom? Instead we take drugs, prescription or otherwise, to live in this dystopia where the rules are applied differently to different classes and breed stock of human. We all just accept this freak show we allow to happen when we can fix this overnight, but we won't. It is easier to look at Instagram and hear some buff dude talk about waking up at 4am and going for a run and putting $2 into Bitcoin every week. Keep telling yourself that. Keep putting band-aid solutions onto problems we see and know exist because it's easier than taking responsibility for organizing and changing it. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Edit. Spelling errors. I'm on mobile. Struggling, depression has been kicking my ass and I have no motivation. It feels like I've already wasted so much time that I might as well give up. Just don't feel like I can make up for all the mistakes I've made in my life. And I can't really look into the future much anymore without just getting sad. The only thing that honestly keeps me here is knowing that I have people around me that it would affect forever if I ended it all and I wouldn't want to put my burden on to all those around me. Honestly, I feel nothing. I feel empty. There is no real excitement anymore. Not since my dog died. I grew up with her. There wasn't a moment she wasn't in my life. She died earlier this year. It's been six months but it still feels like yesterday. I had such a deep connection with her that I didn't have with anyone or anything else. I really can't put into words how much I miss her. How much I would give to hug her one more time. I truly believe my heart died with her. I died with her. Got a great family, wife, two kids, a decent job, but still feel underwhelmed with life. 
I am fortunate that I have enough money to not worry about the things that a lot of others on lower incomes have to worry about, but I still worry and worry about the future. How will I ever pay for my kids' college? How will I ever make enough money to retire comfortably and avoid working until I die? I live in a high cost of living state, city, and I make enough to be somewhat comfortable with the necessities, but not enough to really enjoy luxuries in life. I barely save money from my paychecks because they go right into rent, food, gas, daycare tuition, student loans, and car loans. Because of the area I live and work and I see people all around me with nice cars and big homes, all of which I know I won't ever be able to afford without a career change that would require additional schooling and additional student debt. I'm just on this hedonic treadmill but I'm never really moving up at any time and it's a terrible feeling for me. Not too good probably no one will care but I'll just talk. So I'm in middle school and the one person I've ever had feelings for I'm sure they think of me as a friend I've admitted to her I like them but they didn't see it as a big deal they're nice and told me it's not a big deal and that they're not interested in dating which probably means no but I e never seen them talk to or be around any other guys more than me but they have supported my feelings and some people know about it and they're trying to give me confidence but it's hard because I'm someone who gets no compliments from girls so my confidence in asking them out is so low. I'm afraid to talk to her about it scared I'll lose a friendship of years and I'll regret myself of it. So yeah that's how I feel I just don't know what to really do. The worst I've ever been. Fiance left me, had to move homes back to parents, had to leave my job. She took all the pets that were dear to me. My whole life has basically been turned upside down. There's nothing I could have done differently apparently. No infidelity, no abuse, no gaslighting. Reason for her leaving me was null. Just that she wasn't feeling it anymore. Had months of severe depression and anxiety because of it. Brought me to contemplate suicide and still think about it almost every day. How can I improve as a person if I don't know what I do wrong? I had zero closure. Six year relationship of living together and traveling together. I have tried to seek help. I saw a GP who gave me a referral to a therapist clinic who when I called to schedule up an appointment I was told no availabilities until February, March next year. I've tried other clinics and got a similar response. How can someone seek help if no help is available or response? Then what? I guess suicide or close to it is the only way I can show that I needed help. In the end though, who really cares? Billions of people in this earth. Tired of being single, but I know I'm not the type of person people fall in love with, so I'm just learning to live with it. I'm trying to not make any new female friends because I become infatuated way too easily. I'm so burnt out. I've been stressed and depressed for weeks and I'm tired of it. I have a quiz on Monday and I haven't studied for it yet. It takes too much energy. I have no one to hang out with friends are going to an airbnb and i didn't have enough money to help pay at the time i just feel lonely but i have to study anyway so whatever i can't be who i truly am in this damn house because i'm scared of the judgment from my parents all in all living sucks full end i don't sleep well i feel like there's too much going on at any one point in time and I have no support system to keep me going because everyone important to me is thousands of miles away. I'm still expected to put forth full effort at any given time, however, and if I let my this is fine facade fade for even a moment people start to freak out that I don't have it all together like I should. My motivation to do the things I used to enjoy has fallen to the wayside in lieu of knowing I have other more important things to do, which I also lack motivation to accomplish because it all feels like it needs to be done at the same time but that's obviously impossible. At the end of the day I'm usually exhausted and just want to be a couch potato, 
except on the occasions that I have sparks of energy to get things done but then I feel guilty because those times are usually on the weekends and when I'm able to spend time with the aforementioned people thousands of miles away. It's a constant cycle of feeling pulled in every direction at once and it's draining. I'm hanging in there though, with enough daily caffeine lol. The dishes, yes, if I ask, he'll do it, but I wish it was more organic and it's not heavy enough to bicker over. The time, yes, he brings up looking for work closet to our area but I'm not ready to look yet. As frustrating as the job is, I enjoy it and make good money doing it. It would be a bit of a pay cut to start over somewhere else. Although I'd probably offset the difference in savings off my commute budget. The reduced intimacy, we've discussed it. It's slow on the priority list compared to house stuff but we're working on developing a good schedule for us time. I push myself pretty hard with work because I make a bit less than he does and am just trying to avoid being financially dependent on him or making him feel like a burden on his budget. This is a me problem, trying to overdo so that I feel like an equal partner. I want him to feel cared for as much as cared about, and I love cooking interesting meals and buying him little gifts here and there. I also have a few self-indulgences that I enjoy and don't want them to impact him. So if I'm going to enjoy them I should be able to afford to independently. I'm exhausted. I love my home life but I wish there was more time to enjoy it. I wish my husband helped out a little more frequently but I don't mind making the extra effort to keep things tidy. My only real gripe is his not putting dishes in the sink or dishwasher immediately. I'd like the sink to be clear by bedtime every day but that's trivial. I like my job but hate being there all the time minus 60 hours weeks for a few months with 2.5 to 3 hours commute time a day and at least once out a month. The extra money is always useful but you can't buy the time back with it. Between our mutual exhaustion and busy schedules it's hard to make alone time. We also work opposite schedules. I wish my siblings could find a peaceful way to resolve their conflict. I wish I didn't have to worry about my mom all the time. I wish I cared about my dad again enough to worry about him. I wish I cared enough to keep more in touch with my extended family. I do miss them. I don't live as close to most of my friends anymore and that's fine. I check up on a number of them weekly. I spend a lot of spare time trying to stay in their orbits because I want them to know someone is always looking out for them. But I miss the easier, harder, younger years when we were broke and figuring life out together. I miss having the time for them and with them even as I relish the quiet life at home. I miss not worrying about everything I ate. I miss going out on dates. I pester the hub a lot on wanting to take him out. I really miss having more than 30 minutes to play video games on the couch. But you know, I get home and he's there and out pup is there and just feeling his hand on my back or my leg for a minute and all that dwelling goes away. I just want them all to be productive and happy and connected to me. But mostly I'd like to sleep in. I don't know. I have a job. A girlfriend money saved, a family, still in college and I see how my life is going good. But I don't want to live a life of just doing that. I want to help people, I want to give help to the homeless, I want to see the African American community thrive and finally get rid of the scars caused by slavery. I hate people hating on my Latino community and calling us illegals. I despise the hate against Asian people after COVID, but sadly I am one man and I can't move the hearts of everyone on this world. My days are always the same. Get up. Get beaten down at work. Get home feeling exhausted and throbbing in pain. Have boiling hot shower. Take a big runny shit. Unenthusiastically masturbate. Dwell on the past and future. Lay in bed immobilized by anxiety and depression until I finally slip into a restless sleep full of night terrors. Thanks mom for not using a rubber and bringing me into this world. Dude. Although you're an alcoholic, 
I would tell your GF to help monitor for you. You cannot physically stop yourself from drinking because the want for alcohol would be too strong in the moment. I would also put away a sizable amount of money in a digital fund that is very, very, very hard to access. This would prevent other spending just in case. Imagine who you like to be and what you need to achieve that goal. That end goal will not come easily. As you're battling a true problem, it can either get better or much much worse. Be the better person and defeat your problem. I'm rooting for you man. Also, how would you wrangle an alligator? I am not doing well. I am financially okay. I have 6k in the bank, and a credit line of the 10k. I have some cash, but I am a legit alcoholic and I cannot stop. I am hiding it, somehow, from my GF. I am almost 50, 400 pounds, and I'm just hoping that I die sometime soon. I think that the US, as a society, is dying, sooner rather than later. I think that climate change is 100% irreversible, and we will all, all, know that we are doomed as a species within 15 years. We may struggle on for a century, but we are beyond the tipping point. I say this every single day to myself and it's helped her and it's we get nowhere if we don't try. Take the small things you hate first, try fixing it. If you accomplish it take the next one and so on and so forth. I did this after years of just hating the world and my situation and my life. Things are significantly better now but not perfect. But if I stop I'll never get anywhere. Take it one day at a time, piece by piece. I hear you 100%. I try to keep faith and I work 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 day after day and try my hardest to be disciplined with spending dollar. Never had money growing up, soon as I had a taste. I didn't know how to act with it so I have a bunch of things I always wanted but now have almost nothing I need. Life's full of lessons. The longer I've been broke, the more I'm considering jumping into a career I don't even give two shits about just to be one of those people with a modest house and an economy car lol. Jesus bro, I was once 210 pounds at 5 apostrophe 10 and was just uncomfortable in my own skin. Started hitting the gym like a madman and pushed myself till I was blue in the face. Part of it released anger. Part of it was even self-harm but I am now at 150 and couldn't be better. Your self-destructive thinking is not helping you at all here. Some things take time. All that really matters is you keep a clear mind and just keep grinding away at your goals. You are worth the effort bro and I am proud of you. If that matters, keep going man. Honestly, I'm having a hard time. I've accomplished so much this year. But I'm fat, I'm still fat, and I can't shake this fundamental belief that being this way means all my other accomplishments mean nothing, and that, because of that, essentially I mean nothing. I don't need diet or exercise advice, I just need to deal with these demons, but I find it hard to believe I'm even worth the effort. That's everyone man. But, try thinking about it the way. Life isn't all about important stuff. If you only worry about the important stuff and make no times for fun things and hobbies are not really living. Life needs balance. If you can successfully balance the important stuff family time and fun stuff and hobbies or life is successful. Never feel bad about wanting to do fun things. Just don't disturb the balance. Sometimes things have to be unbalanced or you'll lose it all but that's only temporary things always balance themselves out. Balance is the key. It could sounds like motivational bullshit trust me that's not my intention. I'm just telling you how I live my life. Get through the boring important shit and then have time for family and hobbies and never feel bad about it. Find a more interesting way to study that will motivate you. For example, study with a friend, watch a YouTube video that is more fun than reading a book. If that does not work, give yourself little incentives for studying. Like allow yourself 15 minutes of time on your hobbies for every one hour of time studying. 
school mostly, need to get through differential equations class and it actually makes me want drop out of school, much rather work or spend time with friends or do something interesting than put in the discipline required to finish out this class.